thing is, it's just a touch screen. Make sure it says P1, as opposed to before, it was saying P1, it doesn't show you this. This is just look, looks better because it kind of gives you a view. Patient size didn't change, really. It used to be buttons, now it just looks like pictures. Mm -hmm. okay. um, uh, if you were going to take a bite wing, you just move it to the bite wing. Just go plus, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. As opposed to with the other one, you'd have to push up or down, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, <clears throat> if we were going to take 3D, uh, and I think we could, is it set up for you? Like yeah. you have your, mm -hmm. okay. So in this case, uh, here, you want to play with it? Okay. Yeah. So just go ahead and uh, select the tab that says uh, 3D. There we go. Mm -hmm. You know, some offices, they have tape on the floor to show where, do you recommend that? For I really don't. No? Because, okay. because it varies from a patient to another. Like if you have a, sm uh, a smaller or a taller patient, the stand can be different. Yeah. So, th so that, you know, it changes. I don't really recommend it. I do know that you want to make sure they take, after they stand up like mm -hmm. this, you, if you start off with asking the patient to stand, unless, you know, you have older people, you know, sometimes I must have a patient adult stand like a soldier, like mm -hmm. this with the chin down a little bit. That's, that, that, that's half the battle right there. Mm -hmm. Because if they, they know that they, that means they have to stretch their back, they have to stretch their spine, and when they're holding on to the handles, then ask them to take half a step forward. Okay. It's almost like they're leaning back. Okay, chin has to be down. The light line has to go through these two points for a good panoramic. And then swallow. Keep your tongue stuck to the roof of your mouth. You'll be good to go.